All right, everybody, what's going on? It's your boy C4, continuing with the 2016 NFL Mock Draft Series 2.0, where we look at each team's draft needs as well as grade their free agency period. And today, we're the 26th overall pick, which belongs to the Seattle Seahawks. Last year, the Seahawks went 10-6 in the regular season, 5th overall ranked offense, 1st overall ranked defense. Very, very good season after... You know, rebounding after a pretty slow start. The top three needs going into this year's draft for me are corner, defensive tackle, and offensive line. And before we jump into the draft, let's see how they did in free agency. I gave them a C grade. Uh, Marshawn Lynch retired. They lost J.R. Sweezy, Russell Okun, and Bruce Irvin. They were able to retain Jeremy Lane and Jermaine Kerr. So they did bring back some guys, but they definitely lost more than they gained. Uh, which has been, you know, a pretty constant theme for the Seahawks. When you draft well, when it, you know, it comes up time for these guys to get paid, you can't pay for to keep all of them. So I mean, it's the downside of very, very good drafting. And the last year, this year, and probably next year are going to be the three big years that the Seahawks are going to really feel it. Uh, so now looking at the draft. Um, how I've picked them in previous years. Well, there hasn't been a lot of picks. 2013, they didn't have a pick. 2014, I had them going after Coney Ely, the defensive lineman from Missouri. I believe he was from Missouri. Uh, anyway, he started, yeah, yeah, he was one of the better playmakers on that defensive line for the Carolina Panthers. And they didn't have a pick last year in the Jimmy Graham trade. I don't know why they didn't have a pick in 2013. I can't remember off the top of my head. But obviously, yeah, last year, they did not have it in the Jimmy Graham trade. So now looking at the 2016 draft, where they actually finally have a first-round draft pick, who could they look at getting? I think Taylor Decker uh, could be a potential fit. They could look at Cody Whitehair, the guard. They want to improve their interior uh, offensive line. Jermaine Effetti is another guy that would fit that role, can play tackle or guard. Uh, Will Jackson is a corner that I absolutely love. Jerron Reed has slipped, a very talented defensive tackle slash defensive end from Alabama. All those options are good and definitely realistic. Uh, Seattle is very, very good at drafting. But for me, I think the pick will be Jason Spriggs, the offensive tackle from Indiana. And this will be done out of need. Uh, they need a tackle right away. Uh, Offensive line is a massive need. I think if they want someone that might can play tackle and guard, they may look at a Jermaine Effetti or maybe just straight up go guard with Whitehair, but I think tackle is the bigger need, and Spriggs helped himself with a monster combine, uh, probably the best combine out of all the offensive linemen, so I think he, Seattle might be able to fall in love with him and take him here at 26, so let me know what you guys think with this pick, if you agree or disagree, let me know in the comment section below, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, if you enjoy the video, smash that like button, until next time, it's your boy C4, saying peace out.